Today we're going to be taking a look at the basics of broaching within PartMaker. Uh, on the screen here you'll see a part. It is one inch in diameter and one inch long. Um, so what we're looking at is the three broaching options that we have in PartMaker. Rotary, Index, and Keyway broaching. So if we go ahead and open up our setup dialog here in PartMaker, we can see a list of face windows that we have to choose from. The one that you want for broaching is gonna be mill and index. And that is gonna allow us to do all three types of broaching within one face window. Now, if I go ahead and click on view normal to face plane, we're looking directly at the end of the part. And then I can go ahead and start building my broaching operations. Now, all three broaching operations are gonna be found as a new whole group. So let's click on new whole group and we'll go ahead and create the first style, which is rotary broaching. I'm gonna unselect through hole and then choose my rotary broach option. Under diameter, I can type in the size of the brooch that I want. So that's gonna be a half inch. The nominal depth, we'll just go a half inch deep on this one. And then I'll call this rotary brooch. And we'll hit apply. Now it asks us to add a cycle. We do have one in here already for rotary broaching, but let's go ahead and actually create one. So we'll say add new cycle. It's gonna bring up the rotary broach operation and then the drill hole can cycle, which is just a single move in and back out of the part. And then we can go ahead and select our tools. So I have a tool in here, I'll go ahead and select that. And if we look at the tool, uh, we can choose from a hexagon or square shape and then choose some of the rest of the parameters here. Uh, this one, I have a half inch diameter uh, brooch tool that is a hex. So we'll go ahead and apply and hit okay, leaving the nominal depth to actually drive the depth of that brooch. And then we'll hit apply and close. The last option that we need to select is where that hole is gonna be located. So if I select single hole on solid model, I can go ahead and just click on that center hole and then we'll single step and we'll see that rotary brooch operation happen. Okay, so moving on, let's take a look at an index broaching operation. So again, choosing a new whole group. We'll go ahead and choose from the index brooch operation with a half inch diameter. Again, I'm gonna just pick the same parameters, half inch deep. And when we pick our cycle, let's add a new one. And same thing as before, the index broach operation type comes up, but with a drill hole can cycle. So it's just a single move in and out of the part. When I select my tool, I have a half inch index broach tool here. It's a rectangular shape and we can take a look at the preview and we can modify that to whatever the needs of our actual tool are, or even use a user defined tool shape to define the cross section of the tool. Let's go ahead and hit apply. And then next, let's go to edit whole operation here and choose how many times we want this to index. So if I go to index broach options, I can say what my starting angle is and then how many total cuts. So if I have, let's say three total cuts around the part. So we're gonna index uh, three times total. And then we can say 360 divided by three. So unlike in the setup dialog in part maker where we say how many additional duplications we want, in this one we put how many total that we want. So this is gonna be three total at 360 divided by three as an angle. I can say okay, apply and close, apply and close here. And then again, use the single hole on solid model icon to select that hole. And then when I actually verify this, we can see the three, iterations of that brooch. So that's our index brooch. And for the last broaching style, let's go ahead and create a keyway style brooch. So I'm gonna open up a new whole group. I'm gonna select a keyway brooch and select my diameter 0.5 and same thing again, we'll do 0.5 deep. So we'll call this keyway brooch and I'll hit apply. Now I'm gonna add a new cycle. And then this is the only brooch option that's actually gonna pick its own can cycle. So this one's called Keyway and you'll see how the shape differs. So we'll select a tool. I have my Keyway brooch tool that I've already created. And if we go into the options here, we can see that it's just a little bit different. I actually have, um, we can rename this 
375. So I actually have a 375 um, diameter tool in total. And then we have the size of the insert that's actually doing the cutting. So if we look at a preview, it's just the yellow insert that's actually gonna be doing that keyway style brooch. So we'll say apply and hit okay. Similar to last time we go to our edit whole operation and choose how many iterations. So I'll go to keyway brooch options, multiple cuts, and maybe this time we'll do 12 cuts at 360 divided by 12 to get 12 total cuts around the part. And then lastly, we can choose things like our radial step, our axial step, and then the actual height, this Q value from that half inch diameter. So maybe I'll say, okay, we're only gonna do 30 thousandths height from that diameter. And then we can pick our retract option. So we're gonna retract by 50 thou down at a 45 degree angle. Okay, and then we'll hit apply and close. And then again, choosing the single hole on solid model icon. And then here we can actually rotate this around and see how the movement of that keyway brooch operation works. Okay, and then we get our actual 12 uh, iterations of that around the part, as we can see here. So those are our three brooch operations in Part Maker doing them from a mill and index face window and as a whole group.